All right, Jennifer, thank you. As some lawmakers are praising the president's plan, migrant advocates are decrying it as an assault on the asylum process. Yeah, KFOX 14 News at 5's Harrison Parker continuing our team coverage now from the U.S.-Mexico border near downtown El Paso here. Speaking with an advocate, uh, ad, uh, activist rather, and an immigration attorney. Uh, and Harrison, why do they say this will not stop people from crossing the border? Well, the people I spoke with today say that they are there is real concern about the safety of those seeking asylum here and that these new rules will only make the journey to the U.S. more dangerous. The reality is that people still have the need to seek protection and safety regardless of any U.S. policy. And so this will only push people into more dangerous areas. Arisa Limon Garza is the executive director of Las Americas, an immigrant advocacy center. She and other advocates for asylum seekers say this will have serious consequences for those who are most vulnerable. But this is going to put families and children and people who have asylum claims and are escaping terrible conditions. Alan Lizarraga with the Border Network for Human Rights says President Biden's order is not only unsafe for migrants, but it's illegal. Seeking asylum is a human right. It is internationally recognized and it's also U.S. policy. Lizarraga says the president is only acting this way because of what he says is a broken immigration system. There's not enough legal pathways for people to come to the U.S. and that is resorting them to, you know, not not just to look at asylum as the only way for them to reach safety in the U.S. I spoke with an immigration attorney who said this order will essentially halt the asylum process. When this law takes effect, which is immediately, uh, it's essentially going to shut that down. So people from Mexico, people from Nicaragua, from Central America, Cubans, Haitians, all of them are going to be turned back to Mexico. Michael Weirs agrees with advocates that this order is unconstitutional. We have treaties, we have agreements with other countries that we will take in people with credible fear. We're immediately shutting that down. And it's being done by one person, which is President Biden. Well, everyone I spoke with today expects these, this order to be challenged in the courts. But in the meantime, they say this is really just going to harm those that are most in danger. Reporting from the border, Harrison Parker, KFOX 14 News at 5.